Hi, it's Dux here, and I wanted to show you how you can maximize SharePoint 2010 on a Mac. So as you can see, this is uh, the Mac browser, Safari, and I just opened up a SharePoint 2010 site called Business Development Site. So I clicked on the announcements list, and it looks straightforward. Everything looks pretty much similar to what you will see in Internet Explorer. So when I clicked on this uh, item, I wanted to edit it. So um, I'm going ahead and editing this item. I'm going to add departmental and update the word collaboration, collab to collaboration. And maybe click on the rating, hit save. There you go. The uh, interface was quite seamless. That was through the use of JavaScript and Ajax. And what I'm doing now is I clicked on the calendar list and just wanted to show you too the ribbon interface. I clicked on the calendar tab and as you can see the ribbon, ribbon interface is displaying nicely. I just changed the view to the current events view. Also I clicked on the items tab in the ribbon interface because uh, I just wanted to show everybody again that the functionality we would see from the ribbon interface using a browser like IE is available in Safari. Although certain things that's not available obviously is grayed out like sync to SharePoint workspace, connect to Outlook, all that good stuff. Now I'm off to a custom list. This time it's called Coffee Drinks. And again, I'm tabbing through the ribbon interface. As you can see, the data sheet view is not available as well. That's something that requires uh, Office client in the Windows environment to render. Now let me click on the expense reimbursement list. This is a custom list that allows users to enter their expense reimbursement information. So when I click on it, the expense reimbursement quote unquote form showed up. I um, am typing my expense reimbursement for travel expenses, uh, $300, I hit save. Keep in mind, I applied an approval workflow to this. So you see the status of workflow, currently it's in progress. So when I click on it to look at the workflow history, what you see at that top section where it says loading, what we're um, waiting for here is Visio services to render the uh, visualization for the workflow. Now, this is one of the cool new features of SharePoint 2010, Visio Services. And even better, again, it's not restricted to Internet Explorer. Right now, I'm just uh, expanding or making it smaller, I guess. But um, the diagram is now available, and I'm just kind of zooming it correctly here. So let me move this thing around, reduce it to maybe about 100% or something. And that should be fine. So there you go. This is a visual representation of the workflow. And uh, it's very cool, very cool. It's through the use of Visio services. Now scrolling down, we'll see the status of the workflow history. And what I wanna do next is go back and go to the document library and this time show you what's gonna happen when I click on a specific document. In this case, it's a Word document. Notice that when I clicked on it, since I'm in the Mac environment, it downloaded it for me. And the only way for me to look at it is after it gets downloaded, I double click it and you'll see that Microsoft Word Mac for Mac 2008 is firing up and we'll be able to see that document I clicked on. Now, if we were in the Windows environment, if I click that, automatically it's going to invoke Word and display it. So notice when I click on Edit in Microsoft Word, it says you gotta check it out, but look at this. It says it couldn't be open for editing. So Again, the interaction with SharePoint 2010 in Office is not as seamless in Mac. But don't worry because they in Mac they have a feature called Document Connection Center. You have to download this from the Microsoft site. Think of it as like a special Windows Explorer for SharePoint for the Mac. So through that interface, I'm able to get to the site, get to the document library, in fact, even check out the document I want to work on. This time I checked out a file called change request and noticed that automatically it opened in Microsoft Word. And what I'm doing now is I'm updating the document. I hit save and then when I close it from the document connection center, when I click on check in, uh, it allowed me to put some comments and this goes into the properties of the file. So updated doc, I click on save and voila the updated file is now uploaded and checked into the document library and just to make sure that it did happen uh, let me hit refresh and let's see what's it's called change request form 
version history, look at that. That newly updated file is being displayed. So I can still take advantage of it, although it's not as seamless as the experience you'll have in Windows and IE, but it's still doable. Next, what I did is I clicked on an Excel file that's being rendered by Excel services. Now, Excel services renders the Excel file just fine. And in fact, what I'm doing now is I'm interacting with that Excel file by providing a value to the parameter that, uh, that's defined in the sheet. So essentially, I'm putting in dollar values for specific uh, items in that Excel file. And by doing that, I'm going to flip to the different spreadsheets and you see the actual value was added to uh, the total of the total sum of the coffee. So very cool. Excel services works just fine. Now moving forward, uh, let me go to the travel request list. Essentially, this is a forms library. Uh, what I want to show you here is form services. And what you're looking at here is a form created in InfoPath. So use InfoPath 2010 to create this form published it to SharePoint to a form library and the beauty of this is is this is SharePoint 2010 server enterprise edition I'm able to activate or take advantage of form services so notice I'm filling out the form uh, it's for a sales meeting name Jack Bauer email address jbauercdu.ctu.gov from DC to NYC all right we're gonna expense hotel and car rental round trip Pick the right class, okay, luxury car, let's see, I'll see, non-smoking hotel room. Great. So now let me hit uh, save, make sure this form is saved. Let me uh, provide the file name J. Bauer, hit save. And uh, once that's done, uh, we're good to go. Let me hit close. And just to prove that this was saved, look at that form library. Notice that entry, J. Bauer. Very, very cool. So again, my interaction with SharePoint 2010 is much, much more powerful than the prior versions of SharePoint if you did it on a Mac. What I want to show you now is uh, I clicked on My Profile. This is like the Enhance My Sites. Um, one of the beauty of SharePoint 2010 is the Enhanced Personalization Capabilities and also a very, very powerful metadata and tagging capability. So I clicked on tag and notes. All these words you see in what's called a word cloud are the content I've been tagging with the managed keywords. And I, when I clicked on expense reporting, it, it was tagged to a file called expense reporting procedure from the document library. I did that uh, a couple days ago. So I'm able to go to my profile or my site and uh, be able to interact with it seamlessly as well. I'm able to go to the site settings page as long as I have the appropriate permission. And in addition, when I click on more options, what you're seeing here, friends, is actually Silverlight. Now, if you get the chance, watch my demo later on uh, iPad, you'll see a different view of this because Silverlight is not available in the iPad. But with this, and Silverlight is available, it works seamlessly and again it's quite be beautiful now what I'm gonna do is click on the page tab and actually edit the home page just to show you that the what you see is what you get capability of editing the page or the wiki like capability of editing the page is also available even if I'm using Safari on a Mac um, let me make sure I there you go so I just bolded the text I hit save and voila it's done wonderful so that was a quick quick demonstration for you how brilliant SharePoint 2010 is on the Mac using Safari so very exciting I hope you enjoyed it drop me a line if you have any questions or catch me on Twitter have a great one take care goodbye